हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न अबाउट राइनोस क्लीरोमा सो राइनोस क्लीरोमा इज आल्सो कॉल्ड हैज मिक्युलस डिजीज सो इन दिस राइनोस क्लीरोमा दिस इज अ क्रॉनिक ग्रैनुलोमैटस डिजीज ऑफ द नोस where the first there is affecting of nose followed by nasopharynx is involved followed by oropharynx is involved then laryngopharynx then trachea and bronchi so all these are involved in rhinosteroma so in the rhinosteroma here there is um, yeah in the rhinosteroma it is mainly caused by klebsiella rhinosteromatis which is a uh, bacteria so here uh, there is three stages first we have atrophic first we have atrophic stage then we have granulomatous stage and finally we have cicatricial stage so granulomatous stage and cicatricial stage first in atrophic atrophic stage you will see atrophic rhinitis where there is crusting are seen in the nasal cavity with uh, crusting are seen in the nasal cavity with purulent nasal discharge are seen in atrophic rhinitis then we have granulomatous stage in granulomatous stage this granulomatous stage is actually proliferative stage with granulomatous reaction is seen and there are presence of mucous cells are seen here there is presence of mucous cells and you will also see presence of russell's bodies will be seen in the granulomatous stage in mucous cells what are mucous cells these are actually a cell with multiple locules vacuoles multiple vacuoles is mucous cells what is russell cell it is a plasma cell which has homogeneous inclusions is called as russell's bodies so these are seen then there will be painless nodules in the nose you will see presence of painless nodules will be seen and there will be dermal infiltration whenever there is dermal infiltration in the upper nose and also the there will be dermal infiltration in the upper nose in the lower part of the nose in the lower part of the nose and in the upper part, upper lip you will see dermal infiltration when there is dermal infiltration it will lead to the woody feel and it will result in hebra nose whereas in cicatricial nose there is formation of cicatrix and adhesions and stenosis will be seen and here you will see presence of tapir nose next this in cicatricial phase there will be subglottic stenosis causing respiratory distress and that is called as cicatricial stage then how are you going to treat it the treatment of rhinoscleroma is mainly you give streptomycin is given for 2 days followed by tetracycline is given okay this is the treatment and you can also do if there is a cicatricial area for this you can do surgical dilatation is done thank you and thank you for watching